This grilled chicken wings recipe is gonna inspire you to go light up the grill. I'm talking about super crispy buffalo wings grilled to perfection. I'm gonna teach you a little trick for rotating them so you get perfectly juicy chicken wings on the grill every single time. So you just need a handful of ingredients and you just wanna make sure that you're starting with really dry chicken that you pat dry with a paper towel. The dry rub seasoning for grilled wings is super simple. You just need to put some olive oil on the wings and then you're gonna add seasonings of garlic powder, salt, and pepper to give them a little flavor before they hit that really hot grill. When the grill reaches 425 degrees Fahrenheit, make sure to spray the grates with cooking spray because you don't want the chicken wings to stick to the grill. Then quickly lay the dry rub seasoned chicken wings on the grill grates, close the grill lid, and grill them for about 25 to 35 minutes. But you're gonna keep on spraying them every five minutes, then flipping them and rotating the placement of the wings on the grill. Again, this is every five minutes, so set your phone timer or something. And this is gonna get grilled chicken wings with the perfect char. As they finish cooking, you can move them to a higher grill grate or away from the flames so they pick up heat but don't continue to dry out. As you'll see as this goes, the ones on the outside that weren't as close to the flame needed to be moved to the inside and the ones on the inside which were directly over the flame were getting charred the fastest. So you can see you just kind of monitor them and you'll know at the end because you're going to check the temperature of grilled chicken wings using a meat thermometer to know when the wings are done cooking. Since the temperature of the grill can vary based on the placement of the wings, this is a really important step to make sure each wing is done. So slide the thermometer in the thickest part of the meat without touching the bone to get the best read and wings are done cooking on the grill when they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. All of a sudden you'll be plucking the chicken wings off the grill one by one as they're done cooking. So then you just pile them up on a plate and it's time to make the buffalo wing sauce for grilled buffalo wings. So it's just a few really simple ingredients here. You need some butter that's melted, some buffalo hot sauce, and some fresh chopped cilantro just to give it a little bright flavor. Whisk those all together, it just takes a moment, and it's time to add in your crispy grilled chicken wings. These are so freaking crispy and delicious and that char is so good, so just give them a stir, use some tongs, get someone to give you a hand, and just stir them all up so they're equally coated with that delicious buffalo wing sauce. And then it's time to play with all the grilled buffalo wings recipe condiments that you would expect to find at your favorite grill. So some carrots, celery, and blue cheese dressing. Doesn't that look so delicious? I have another really great grill recipe that you could use with this grilled appetizer chicken wings. You have to check out my delicious flank steak marinade recipe. It is so delicious and the perfect combination of garlic, ginger, soy sauce, honey, and a little Dijon mustard amongst other ingredients makes this a really delicious and savory recipe for you to add to skirt steak or flank steak or any other steak that you have. Don't forget to get this recipe with printable instructions at sipbitego.com. And for more tasty recipe ideas, subscribe to the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube. Well, you should have all the kitchen confidence you need to make these delicious grilled chicken wings. Till next time, have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers!